Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome to a Disneyland Paris haul video. I have not done one of these videos in at least, I want to say, three or four years. And that's because in the past few years, whenever I've gone to Disneyland Paris, I just haven't bought enough things to warrant a haul because I just, you know, went so often. But this time round, because it had been a year since the last time I went in 2019, there were quite a few things that I bought. Again, it's not going to be a massive haul. If you've watched some of my previous hauls and like Disney World hauls and Hong Kong Disneyland haul and Shanghai Disneyland, like all those basically international parks. I normally buy a lot of merch when I go to Disney parks but like I said Paris is my home Disney park so I don't feel like I need to buy too much when I go there. However as I said before I did buy quite a few things this time around and I thought why not just put them all in a video because you guys wanted me to. I serve you. I do what you want. So I've got this pretty big bag with me don't get too excited though it's not completely full but it does have some pretty cool stuff in there so i'm gonna start with the little things uh which were two pins that i got i am a disney pin collector i collect a lot of things and unfortunately pins are one of the things i collect i say unfortunately because they can be quite expensive but yeah i really wanted a 2020 specific disneyland paris pin to kind of commemorate my one disneyland paris trip of 2020 i feel very very lucky and grateful still that i was able to go i timed it so well like if you haven't checked out my vlogs by the way make sure you do i'll leave the links down below but they're on my channel i was there for three days and it was just so magical it was amazing to be able to go back in a year like this when so many things have gone wrong and so many people have had a lot of struggles uh it's, it's, it's i felt really lucky right and because of that i wanted to remember this little trip even though a lot of people keep saying 2020 is a terrible year like why would you want a pin of it i get it it's been a pretty hard year for the whole world to be honest but i'm not one to just waste time and wish time away like just because this year has been pretty awful doesn't mean that i haven't had some decent moments in it still i'll do a whole video about why this year has actually been good for me in some ways so if you want to know more about my personal life subscribe but yes i wanted to get a pin um, and i got two pins because i couldn't choose between these two so the first one that I got is this really cute Disneyland Paris pin with the uh, Fantasia Sorcerer Mickey and it says 2020 on there and there's a castle and the uh, Mickey hat as well from Walt Disney Studios and it says Disneyland Paris I just think it's a really nice pin um well you know it reminds me of Disneyland Paris obviously because it's got the icons of Disneyland Paris and it's got my favorite Mickey on there so yeah that was that then the second pin that I got was because I had a really cute like interaction on this trip with Chip and Dale and not even just with Chip and Dale with the cast member the character attendant that was with them as well it was just a cute highlight of my trip so I kind of wanted to remember that moment with Chip and Dale and also I just love Chip and Dale anyway and so this isn't necessarily like Disneyland Paris themed I wouldn't say I mean obviously it's a Disneyland Paris official pin you can see it's got Disneyland Paris here in the back but the actual pin itself is just Chippendale holding up a 2020 sign rather than like anything to do with um, the park. But I love it. I think it's really cute and I wanted to add it to my collection. The next thing I got is this little ornament that I saw in Harrington's. Now, Harrington's is probably my favourite shop in the whole of Disneyland Paris. If you don't know where it's located, it's located on the right-hand side on Main Street USA. It's kind of right in the middle of Main Street, but a little bit closer to the castle rather than the entrance. It's lovely. It sells a lot of ornaments and figurines and artwork and pins and stuff. I honestly feel like I'm entering a museum every time I go in there. I've done a whole video, by the way, like showing you around that shop. So again, I'll leave it down below, but if I forget, just type in Harrington's or favourite shop or something like that on my youtube channel and you should be able to find it and you might enjoy it there's some pretty cool stuff that they sell there obviously they do change it year by year but anyway i found this little um olaf ornament in harrington's completely randomly like i wasn't looking to buy anything to be honest well, apart from the pins that i got i wasn't you know going to be buying anything else but i saw this and i don't know i just thought it was really cute i love books a lot as you probably can tell i make a lot of book videos on this channel as well and this year in particular I've been reading way more like so much I'm very close to 100 books at the moment which is crazy and I love Olaf like he is a hilarious character obviously so I just thought this was a cute little figurine this was 14.99 euros which I think is a pretty decent price as well for a nice little size figurine like this like this is quite big if you think about it you know it's nearly the size of my face and of course because I'm an annual pass holder I also got a discount on it so I probably only paid about I don't know 11 12 euros for this I love it 
really really cute now in that same shop in harrington's i also found a figurine that i wanted to buy for my friend rebecca my friend rebecca is a massive fan of mary poppins it's her favorite disney film and every time i see anything to do with mary poppins i just think of her and i saw this figurine and i thought it looked really nice and i got it for her however oh, it's so annoying because it broke like it broke in my suitcase on the way back somehow i don't know how i wrapped it up as well as i could the cast member had also wrapped it up really well and i literally like put like soft things around it when i put it in my suitcase i put clothes around it to make sure it doesn't like break but i guess it was just really thin like you know her legs are quite thin so this is the ornament i'm gonna show it to you it's not too bad like it's not something that can't be fixed you just need to put some glue on it <laughs> but yeah this is i'm gonna there you go this is what the figurine is meant to look like i actually really like um mary's face sometimes with these ornaments they get the faces of the characters wrong and i think this one actually looks quite nice and she's got her umbrella here and um, yeah her lovely outfit and her bag is here as well and it says Disneyland Paris on the bottom bit as well which I thought was really cute it was just a nice ornament that I hadn't seen before to do with Mary Poppins that's you know what made me want to buy it for Rebecca but yep it is annoyingly broken so maybe it's a good thing actually because it kind of means that Mary Poppins can just fly away because she's got her umbrella after all so there you go bye mary jokes aside i'm gonna try my best to make this work somehow glue it on maybe ask some help from my mom because she's really good with these things and send it off to rebecca before christmas so rebecca if you're watching look forward to it and i'm really sorry that this broke the next thing i want to show you hilariously i also got from harrington so i'm telling you there's a reason this shop is my favorite but this one i armed and out about a lot like i kept walking past it and thinking do i get it or do i not if you've watched my vlog you actually might see me see this item for the first time because i was vlogging at the time and i'm pretty sure i mentioned in the vlog how much i enjoy it as well but without further ado this lord have mercy this is huge yeah this is my next item in this disneyland paris haul this is an artwork in case you couldn't tell a frontierland in disneyland paris and it's limited edition and it's really wonderful like i really enjoy the design of it frontierland is one of my favorite lands in disneyland paris i think it's so beautiful with thunder mountain and just the way it's laid out and especially during the halloween season they really go all out with the decorations in frontierland again check out my vlogs if you want to see exactly what they look like this year it's very nostalgic to me and i just really like the print and how this is designed so i have no idea where to put it i don't have space for this right now in my room but um you know one day this will go somewhere on my wall in a house maybe if i ever have one of my own it's huge though like as you can see this is a pretty big print they did also have this for other lands as well so yeah if you want to be a massive collector and collect all of them i'm sure you can but considering this alone was 26.99 euros if you want to buy all of them you'd probably be looking at spending more than 100 euros for some artwork which is fine i mean i would do that but i just don't have the space for it right now the next few things i'm going to show you are the main things that kind of take over this huge bag and honestly i feel like you might judge me a little bit but before we get to the actual main stuff i've got a couple of more things to show you that i completely forgot about snacks Disney snacks. I don't normally buy these things when I go to Disneyland Paris. I'm way past the point of buying snacks like this, like souvenir snacks from Disneyland Paris because I go so often I just don't feel like I need to. However, this year again with things being so weird and not being able to see your friends and loved ones, I saw these and they looked really cute and I thought I'm gonna get a few of them and just send them to some of my friends. Considering Christmas is coming up as well, I think this could be a cute little thing. So there's two different versions of this. There's a red one, you can see Minnie on it and I actually I love this design of Minnie and Mickey like from the new Mickey Mouse shorts they're so cute some people aren't a fan of Mickey and Minnie looking like this but I think they look adorable they're hilarious I love them we've got the castle here as well with some fireworks and the Walt Disney Studios logo here as well and these are meant to be chocolate cookies so yeah very good I'm pretty sure I've tasted things like this before and they're really nice and the other one is uh blue same kind of vibe except that this one doesn't have the chocolate bits in it it's just like normal I guess short ready cookies and it's got Mickey on it and yeah very cute i actually can't remember how much these were uh unfortunately like, and i can't find the price on here but not too expensive i'd say reasonably priced and yeah as you can see i've got four of them okay so now we get to the main bit like the one thing that i knew i wanted before i even went on this trip i was really hoping to be able to find these and i did so literally about three or four days before i went to disneyland paris last month this new spirit jersey was released and i think it's called like 
wish spirit jersey or something like that but it's basically blue and silver and it's got stars on it there's also a lounge fly bag to go with it and some mini ears and other things and the amount of messages and like dms i got from you guys when this was first announced telling me oh my god sam this was made for you thank you like I, it means a lot to me i think you guys just know me so well i do love stars stars are my favorite shapes i've literally got this like star you know ring here and my star earring and stars i just love stars okay and blue i feel like i've said it too many times let's say it together is my favorite color and silver as well is probably my second favorite color so honestly the combination of the two of them and the stars i just like i wanted it and i could have bought it online because online i think on shop disney they put up the Walt disney word version of it and the disneyland california as well but i wanted the disneyland paris one because disneyland paris is my favorite park like don't get me wrong i love disney world and disneyland california as well but i could choose amongst all of them i really wanted it to be disneyland paris and say disneyland paris on the back because i was like this spirit jersey has all my favorite things on it with the colors and the shapes and the sparkles and everything so if i could get the actual park to also be my favorite park then it would be perfect and honestly only one shop that i saw in disneyland paris actually sold these even the fashion shop in disney village didn't have them and i was so worried at one point i was like i'm never gonna find these and then i did and thankfully they did have my size as well they actually had a quite good stock of it when i was there anyway so there you go this is oh, look how beautiful it is like the color of it you can't even see me guys the color of the spirit jersey is beautiful and you can see here you've got the Disneyland Paris logo, 1992, so cute. I love these little subtle um, sparkly bits on the blue as well. The blue itself is such a nice shade of blue, I love it. The back of it as well, <laughs> oh look, Disneyland Paris with nice silver lettering, love it. Love it so, so much. I'm actually really excited to wear this now because I haven't worn this yet, obviously, as you probably can tell, because I was waiting to film this video, but yeah so the reason i said you guys might judge me is because i got two of these and no not to sell not to give away i'm sorry i got two of these for myself yeah i don't know why i actually don't know why these spirit jerseys aren't even cheap they're quite expensive obviously i had my annual pass discount but still i don't know what came over me i saw them and i picked up one first and then i was like i love this too much like i genuinely love this too much and i know myself like i wear these disney spirit jerseys quite a lot and you know my other ones i've washed them quite a lot and they don't always look as good after you've washed them too many times so i just thought let's go for two because i'm going to be wearing these a lot and if one of them starts wearing out a bit i want to make sure i've got another one and i kind of had a feeling that they would probably sell out and they more or less have now in all the disney parks so yeah uh, i got this in a size large by the way i normally get a large for my spirit jerseys the medium ones fit me as well i just prefer the large ones because i just want them to be as loose as possible so yeah <laughs> i have two of these and if you don't believe me there you go two of the same spirit jersey who am i but yes of course with the spirit jersey i also had to get the ears the blue and silver sparkly ears that came with it look at it oh, so cute i actually did wear these on my last day in disneyland paris so there's no tag on them anymore because i took it off but i love them so so cute love the colors again they go so well with the spirit jersey i'm excited to one day get to wear these with the spirit jersey and match they didn't have the lounge fly bag that goes with this unfortunately in disneyland paris i'm not sure if they just had sold out or they just never released it in the parks but of course i have now bought that as well i bought it online and it has come and it's beautiful i'm gonna make a whole lounge fly video soon as well so again if you want to see some new lounge fly bags that i bought make sure to subscribe and click on that bell thing as well because youtube's really bad at actually notifying people unless you put the bell thing on so yeah a lounge my video will be coming up soon and i'm excited that is it though that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching follow me on instagram only if you want though because i can be quite a lot on instagram but yeah thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video bye